In this video, we're going to be continuing our um, solving quadratics adventure here. We've come up with a lot of different ways to solve quadratics. Here is one more. Um, sometimes, without factoring, you can solve for x by using a rule to solve for square roots. Um, and we're going to figure out how to do that today. And we're going to continue where we left off in that last video. I'm solving a really simple quadratic here. So in this example right here, um, we don't have a b in that standard form here. ax squared plus bx plus c, there's our quadratic form. Um, so there's really no middle term there, we just have a, an a and a c. And here's one way that we can really easily solve this using our square roots. To undo a square, we use a square root. So you square root both sides here, always do the same thing to both sides of an equation, then the square root of x squared is just x, and the square root of 16 is 4. But if you remember in the last video how we talked about the difference between solving um, and simplifying, here we're solving, so we need, we need a positive and a negative root, and it's because 4 times 4 would give us 16 but also negative 4 times negative 4 that gives us a positive 16 as well so we gotta make sure that we include both values when we're solving especially when we're solving quadratics alright so there's pretty simple quadratic solved um, remember this is our x-intercept this is where uh, our parabola is going to be crossing the x-axis so if we were to do a quick little sketch here there's positive 4 and negative 4 and so we know at least that our parabola here is going to cross that x-axis right there um, and if you remember all of the other ways that we could figure out we could figure out the vertex it's going to be somewhere up there right um, so we know that our graph is going to look something like that um, oops Definitely wouldn't look like that though. I was just drawing parabolas. Um, A is positive, right? So it's going to be going up. Yeah, there we go. That's what it'll look like. All right, so let's do a, a little bit more complicated one. We'll keep getting more and more complicated here. We are trying to solve for x, so we want it to get it by itself. If we subtract one from both sides, we're almost there. Um, so now we just got to get rid of this 2. Well, let's divide by 2. Now we're left with x squared equals 8. Well, to get rid of the square, we need to square root. As soon as you do this step right here, as soon as you do that square, both, square root both sides, always just, if we're solving, put that plus or minus right there. And then it goes in front because we're going to have to simplify this. Things are going to be jumping out. And we always want this to be right in front if that's the step. And we'll see some other problems where this might move around a little bit. But if you just keep your steps in order and then keep it in the same location as where it starts, then you'll do all right. All right, so to simplify this, we know that that is the same as uh, the square root of 4 times 2. We could take the square root of 4 out. So that is going to go right in front of our square root, right? Things that pop out of a square root go right in front. So that plus or minus gets moved just a little bit. It's going to be plus or minus whatever comes out of the square root. And we still got the square root of 2. So we got plus or minus 2 times the square root of 2. Um, so the positive value and also the negative value would be where our parabola would cross the x-axis. Two spots there. Let's continue solving quadratics using square roots. Let's get a little bit more complicated with our examples here. Alright, here's a different form of a quadratic. So just solve for x, undo the things that are around it. If 
So we got a one third here, or this quantity being divided by three. We got to multiply both sides by three. So then we're left with x plus five squared. We got 21 on the other side. Um, this whole quantity is getting squared. Now, maybe you're thinking, well, that's x plus five times x plus five. But let's not do that. That's going to take us in a um, much farther direction, I guess. Just undo the square. Don't foil. Don't um, put this into two different quantities here. Just square root both sides. So we're left with x plus 5 now. And we want the plus or minus the square root of 21. Okay, Just add it right there in that step. Now here is where this plus or minus is not going to move. If I subtract 5 from both sides, I'm going to put it in front. Negative 5 goes in front, and that plus or minus is mostly just attached to that square root. The, really, the only thing that moves this are things that hop out. Um, so don't put this in between the plus and minus and the square root. We're just subtracting it from both sides. So that's what x equals. Um, we can't simplify the square root of 21 anymore. So we got negative 5 plus the square root of 21, but we also have negative 5 minus the square root of 21. So both of these. We can rewrite it like this, but you always want to think about it being two different quantities. Um, and sometimes this, this number over here is going to turn out to be a whole number, in which case you're going to be able to add it to this number that was in front and simplify. Just however the algebra ends up working out. See, um, see if we can find an example that's like that. All right, so let's do this example here. Again, get rid of this four. Divide both sides by four. Got x plus one squared equals twenty now. Sorry, twenty-five. Square root both sides, don't break this up. So right here we get plus or minus just 5, right? We got positive 5 squared would give us 25, negative 5 squared would give us 25. So if we still got to solve for x here, we're going to get x equals, let's subtract 1 from both sides, x equals negative 1 plus 5, but also negative 1 minus 5. So we we got to simplify this. X equals, the first one would be 4. The second one would be negative 6. So there's where we get some more rational numbers coming out. Um, again, our parabola. A is positive, so let's get that figured out first. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We know that it's going to be coming up there. And to intersect the x-axis there at 4. We also know at negative 6, that's where the other arm's going to come up and cross the x-axis. So there's our x-intercepts. That's what solving x does. And these were examples of using our square roots to solve for x. Again, in one more way we can solve for x. We're going to continue coming up with um, different ways that we can solve for x-intercepts, vertices, all the other things that go along with solving quadratics.